Joining us on the phone line is Managing Director R.S. Jalan, also Yash Upadhyay from our research team joins in. Over to you, Yash. Uh, first, uh, so let me first start off with asking you about your revenues. On a year-on-year -year basis, they have fallen by approximately 9%. And while a lot of it has got to do with your textile business, uh, the inorganic chemicals business has managed to post a flat to rather negative growth in the fourth quarter, despite of a high demand from the industries that use these chemicals. Just wanted to understand what are the reasons behind this. Now, inorganic chemical, uh, uh, this is primarily because of the accounting, because earlier years, uh, the excise duty was there, and excise duty was always being reported as an expenditure. But this year, uh, since the excise duty is not there, GST has come into the play, and the GST has to be netted off. Uh, from the revenue. So because of this accounting, you are seeing this uh, number. Otherwise, if a like-to-like -like comparison, there is a, in the inorganic chemical, there is a growth of around 10%. Okay, so, so how does your FI, FI19 look like and what is the demand supply scenario panning out both globally and across some of your key regions, including India, and if you can give us uh, an, any guidance? See, in organic chemical, uh, uh, FY17-18, there was a robust uh, performance or, or robust de demand growth of around 11% in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the chemical. And our belief is that uh, the numbers uh, or the uh, growth should be, uh, should be good. May not be 11%, but the growth should be good in the demand. Now, in terms of the textile, uh, uh, though the headwind will continue, However, our performance this year, we believe, is going to be better than last year's. So overall, my belief is that FY18-19 at EBITDA level should be better than the uh, FY17-18. Uh, if you look at last five years, you will find that uh, at the PAT level, we have a growth of around 24% on a CAGR growth. Now, on a long-term basis, not on a year-to-year -year basis, but on a long-term basis and a period, our objective of the organization is to continue for the growth of around 20% CAGR growth. Okay. And uh, so what has been the volume picture like in terms of absolute number and the growth as well for the fourth quarter? If you look at our volume of, uh, of uh, the sales number, in FY4, uh, FY17 quarter 4, we have sold around 2,30,000 tons of the sodas. Against that, we have sold this quarter of 2,41,000, which is a growth of, in volume growth of around 5%. If you look at overall uh, on FY17 versus FY18, against the sales of around 7,78,000 tons, we have sold 9,4,000 tons. So this gives a growth of around 16% over, uh, over last year. Okay, and so from, from what we have gathered, your input costs have gone up considerably. What does it mean for your margins and what will be your pricing strategy? Where do you see prices heading towards uh, over the next few quarters? Our belief is now these prices are more or less stable. So if the prices remains at this level what it is today, uh, our margins in the inorganic chemical uh, will continue to be the same what we are getting currently. We don't see any drop in the margin going forward. Okay, sir. And what is the total debt on your books? Are we comfortable at current levels? And by how much do we plan to reduce it in FI19 as well? This year we have reduced by 117 crores. And our debt equity ratio is very healthy at this point of a time, which is around 0.79. Uh, and our guidance in the past was that uh, we will be uh, we will be uh, coming closer to the one. Now we are much ahead of this uh, debt equity ratio of of one to now we are 0.79. And in future also we want to believe, uh, we want to make sure that uh, our debt remains with the same level. Okay, sir. And as far as your home textile business is concerned, your revenues have fallen by as much as 36% in the fourth quarter. If you can help us understand with what's gone wrong there and by when do we expect to see a turnaround? See, two things uh, in this. Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, there is a drop in the degrowth in the, into, the, into the textile uh, revenue business. But overall, if you look at our margins have started improving on the, on the, into the textile business vis-a-vis -vis the last two quarters. Now, our understanding is that uh, our focus at this point of a time is to reorganize our customer mix and 
enter into those customers where the margins are better and exit from those customers where the margins are negative. So that is the focus of the organization, which will improve our overall bottom line. But headwind of this business will continue for a few more quarters for the entire industry. Okay, and so if you can just tell us uh, by when can we expect to turn a bit positive in uh, this textile business? Probably on the EBITDA level, uh, definitely this number will be better than this year. And uh, we will be, uh, we will, uh, 1920 definitely we will be in a much, um, we will come to a level which will be healthy green, mar uh, green profitability, uh, the profitability will be better.